Today we learned the clue that helped de detectives was tucked away in a hotel's lost and found until someone found it two weeks ago. I'm both honored and humbled to give this precious baby a name. In an emotional news conference, Police Chief Jeff Jones struggled to read the name of Baby Doe for the first time. Simone J. Daniels, we believe she was between four and five months old at the time of her death. We believe she had been in their tire since 2017. Columbia Police found the infant's remains in August 2019 inside a small backpack tucked in a tire near McKnight Tire. The remains appeared to be an infant of less than one year of age. The body so decomposed, investigators begged for help to identify the child. To the community, to please contact us if you have any information about any child. Nearly three years later, CPD finally got that help. I believe that person was encouraged not to contact the police, to stay out of it. They did the right thing, um, and that took a lot of courage. Officers say a community member yeah, called them after they found a letter in the lost and found at this Super 8. In it, the clue that cracked the case. Yeah, the letter was uh, written to the Columbia Police Department, um, and then it identified the mother and the father. Chief Jones identified baby Simone's father as Stefan Fountain. He faces charges of first-degree homicide and abandonment of a corpse. He also identified the baby's mother as Lavasha Daniels, charged with abandonment of a corpse and child endangerment. To those who remember Simone, I want to express my condolences for your loss. My hope is that this brings you some type of comfort. Investigators say they believe baby Simone was killed at this Red Roof Inn in 2017. Two years later, they say they found her here and waited another three years to finally one of our detectives give her a name. Best. Our number one goal was to give this child a name and honor her memory. That's happened today. Columbia Police did not release Simone's cause of death yet or a possible motive. Chief Jones says there's still a lot of information to come out about this case, but they can't share more just yet. Of course, we'll keep you updated as this story develops both on air and online at KOMU.com.